This is Sydney Johnson, a sophomore sprinter on the women's track and field team here at Bellman University. Recently, while competing in the GLVC Indoor Track and Field Championship, Sydney won her first event in the women's 60 meter dash with a time of 7.87 seconds, just one hundredth of a second slower than her personal best she achieved in the preliminary round. Really, really, really good, especially since I've been hurt all season. It's just, it gives me a confidence boost, lets me know I can do it. Came out and, and you know, surprised a lot of people at the, at the conference championships when she won the 60 meter dash. And, you know, she's, she's, that was what I initially thought her, her potential was to be able to do. And, and I think she, she did a great job competing. A graduate of Ballard High School here in Louisville, Kentucky, just like myself. I'm very certain that Sydney got the best possible training prior to arriving here last year. Ballard has always been known for producing stellar athletes. But at the same time, I was very curious to how she felt competing in her hometown at the college level. Because like now that I won a conference championship, people that know me from town see me around and they're like, oh, congratulations. So it feels better knowing that people around you know who you are and know that you did something good. And then I feel like I'm not letting anybody down. So putting on for the city. And it's not hard for her to reminisce on the high school days, as most of the time she can look over in the next lane and see a former foe from Assumption High School running by her side. Well, I would say it's a lot different because in high school she was always my rival, even though we didn't know each other, but we were, she was always a girl that I competed against in high school. With the type of worker she is and only being a sophomore, she still has plenty of time to grow. Her coach and teammates all feel that she has a tremendous amount of potential. The difference between now and high school, I would say she's improved a lot since just even like her running form and how she competes. I don't think there's any doubt that if she, if she will work hard enough, uh, stay focused, do everything that needs to be done, um, and stay as competitive as what she is right now, that, that she can make the national championships within the next couple of years in the 100 meters. In high school, she was always used to being the best, and now she has to compete against a higher level. And I think that she's really like grown a lot from that. I want to win an outdoor. I want to win 100 and 200, and I want to win a 200 indoor too. And for the first time in her college career, she will be competing in the long jump, something she hasn't done since her days at Ballard High School. The worst thing ever. Um, intense, scary, but I'm excited. She's just in the very first process of learning how to do that. She actually has all the natural skills. But if she learns how to jump the right way, she can be a conference scorer to be in a national qualifier, you know, or who knows what, because she's just so fast. This is Keaston Jones reporting for Bellman Sports. Go Knights. Run!